Hello, Hello boy. Big. Uh, welcome to the Game Punks uh, React. Re- Game emergency. React. <laughs> okay. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh it no. Quite the emergency, I uh, must say. Yeah, emergency reaction vid. Uh, uh, podcast thing, whatever you want to call so this. Just oh god, Sanic. Uh, <laughs> it truly was like a, a call to arms, wasn't it? It came so fast. Oh god, uh, the Sonic movie uh, is a thing that's happening. We've known about this for a long time. We've seen the very bad designs uh, in like pre-production, kind of like vector artwork and shit. Yeah, I, there was there was worrying things, but now it's uh, official. They, oh yeah, yeah. They, we've we've got like they <laughs> done it. Of, Proof of its existence, a definitive proof of its existence. It's no longer concept art, it is art. Yeah, it is art. Uh, do you want to just, like, hop right into it? Um, real quick, I just want to say I find it amazing the amount of people <laughs> that are fixing it. Oh, yeah. In, like, seconds, and just making it look so much better by making it, like, <laughs> a tad more cartoony and stylized. Just just a smidge, So why too? you gotta they, try so they're hard? They're only doing it just a little little fucking edits quality of life edits literally everyone with photoshop has fixed this it's just the small improvements the small improvements that have been implemented in order to just ameliorate the entirety of sonic's design it's remarkable that none of those were even fucking considered but they're really hoping that this fucking shit movie does something you know they're banking on the hate watch yeah which i guess we'll talk more about after watching this fucking yeah. beast of a trailer all right you ready so uh hold on it's in the d- d- discord yeah i linked uh, you there we go oh shit that's and... the alex jones video <laughs> <laughs> all right uh i'm gonna let it load up a little bit so it doesn't have yeah, that weird delay it's, it's good wow one. god that's fucking loud <laughs> <laughs> Okay, turn that down. <laughs> you just got Sonic Bomb. I, yeah, I did. And not with good music either. No. <laughs> well, just kind of a scream at first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's pretty much what what kind of reaction this would elicit. All right. Three, two, one, one. go. Oh. Okay. Boo! Electric Who'd Hedgehog he? power. There he go. Seven sixty. Um, I don't know why the electricity is necessary, but because he goes fast. Look, yeah, the but flash. by the time he picked it up, it would all be gone. Also, I hate the sneakers so much. I hate. I it's hate. It's the them. worst. Does that mean that we're gonna see Sonic's feet? I fucking hope not. Why does Sonic get Gangster's they Paradise? They might do it, but not. Gotta, gotta go fast. He Part says five the most like, serious. He's dead serious when he says "gotta go fast." Why does this movie get Gangsters Paradise, but not Part Five of JoJo? That's my real question. God, I, I do not know. I like at least uh, Jim Carrey. Oh, Neil McDenna is in this. Yeah. It's this guy here, he's in everything. Wow, I love Ace Ventura. <laughs> Man, he really, really hates animals now, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's not funny. This November. Wow, that's too soon to fix this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so quirky. Look, every fucking joke in one of these movies is the first time the animal talks, somebody screams. Should we talk about how this is literally just the plot to Hop? Is it? I never saw anything about because Hop. I just know that it's the this same is what, guy. Yeah, James Marsden is in Hop with a creepy CGI animated rabbit. And this is basically the same thing. Also, those robots look fucking boring. Yeah, they're very bland. Dr. Robotnik shit looks like it's fucking made by Boston Dynamics or whatever. <laughs> I hate the fucking ring portal. It doesn't make sense. It's so stupid. Is it like the special zone rings or something? I, yeah, well, I think that's what they're going for. And it, But it took Ugh. me like five times of watching it. Oh, he's... God, this looks the so world, bad. though! 
this looks so bad. Yeah. That one doesn't Visually, make sense either. It's, it's because, poison. Like, stopping the missiles doesn't make sense either because he's just fast. He can't control time. Like, he's not Quicksilver fast. Yeah, he's not like the Flash or Quicksilver. He can do that shit. Why do they have, like, a stolen child joke in this movie? I don't know. At least I like this. The Dr. That looks Robotnik good. Uh, the losing his fucking mind. In the background? Yeah, I don't want to talk about <laughs> the big-ass mushrooms and mushrooms. <laughs> Those are really funny. They're so bad-looking, too. I hope they fix that. They won't. They really are garbage-looking, aren't they? They're fucking horrible. Oh, my God. I can't. I cannot fucking believe that somebody looked at that and said this is a good idea. But I think. I think we we both kind of theorized this. They're banking That's, on the meme. That's the yeah, point. They want this movie to be bad. It's an intentionally poorly made movie. And even people that I know who are like maybe not entirely familiar with the process of marketing a film yeah. can transparently see that this is what they are doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know where they. They can see this and they're like, I'm fucking convinced that this is intentionally bad. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Because I don't there's no way somebody see... could look at that shit and say that that looks quality. It's not. It's fucking bad. It's so fucking transparently bad. The only thing that I can imagine at all happening is like rushed movie, like Sega pushing this out the door. But, I mean... Oh, yeah. I... But it's 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 embarrassing almost how bad it is. Yeah. You like would you, wouldn't you not want to make a movie that way? Ah uh, fuck what was it? Um Super, oh, uh, Castle Super Beast talked this week about how they got Tom Holland and someone else to like make a movie for about like a teen novel or whatever, a romance novel and they're like reshooting everything because the version that they got was literally so bad and unreleasable. Like this I, I, movie I, I should get the you... same treatment. Now I know what you're talking about. Uh that movie's called Chaos Walking. Yes. And it's uh it's not a romance novel. It's actually it's a it's like uh like weird I'd call it like weird western slash sci-fi. Oh god! Uh, it's, it's a really good book. Worse. It's one of my it's one of my favorite book series I've ever read. But uh, yeah, no, the the movie was going through like production hell because its script was written by Charlie Kaufman, who's like a really really great screenwriter. Mm-hmm. He's won Oscars. He wrote like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and like adaptation, a whole bunch of really good stuff like that. But yeah, like, the the production of the film is bad. It's being directed by Doug Lyman, who's a really good director. But clearly, like, I, I feel like th- he's probably being strong-armed by the studio into making a, a film adaptation of a YA novel. Yeah. You know? One that he might not be particularly passionate about. And it's, you know who it is? It's Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley. Yeah, that's that's who it was. Yeah, that's, that's uh... all besides the point. The fact that, like, Sonic is being treated this way, like, studios are... Studios are basically banking on the idea that everybody thinks Sonic is stupid and lame and dumb and meme Yeah. And that everybody is going to go see it. And the worst part is they're not wrong. And, like, this was... I, I don't know this what the timeline so was. This looks so enticingly bad. I but, really do want to see it. Like, it straight up looks like uh, they were working on this. They saw Detective Pikachu release their trailer. And they were like, fuck, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make those numbers and compete, you know? And it's yeah, like, oh, except you're not going to. You're... It's like the ethos behind both movies is so completely fucking on opposite ends of like the spectrum of how to make a video game movie. Yeah, where Detective Pikachu's not attempting to translate like the direct story elements of the games into a film narrative. It's trying to capture kind of the in the overall vibe of yeah, and Pokemon. like the the thing with the Pokemon too is uh, although very clearly intended realistic versions of fantasy creatures uh they're not changing proportions to make them more realistic like they didn't shrink pikachu no, down not. to be an actual mouse size because that no, would he be is fucking the size stupid of a pikachu but they gave sonic yeah. human fucking calves uh yeah he looks like a little weird man <laughs> yeah he and does it's, it's a bad. very hairy a, weird man 
He's fast, a weird. Man. He's a really weirdly textured, lean little man with like a creepy, really, really uncanny face. Another thing that I noticed is how like kind of the the design of the eyes. Yeah, so, it, it's so pinched together at the nose. Mm-hmm. And, and it, a bunch of people with Photoshop have been fixing that, and it just the eye thing like makes alone, it look a bunch better. Almost ameliorates the design. Yeah, I think his hands are really gross looking too. I don't like that his he arms has, like, are hairy. Yeah, he, well, he's got a hairy f- entire body. Which well, is no, I, yeah, but I mean, it makes sense if you're gonna make Sonic Sonic, but Sonic like has the weird skin part on his arms or whatever. Yeah, exactly. He's so got like. like ugh. I mean, if you've ever seen like a real hedgehog, they have like kind of a fleshy, yeah, little fleshy little arms and legs, you know, because they're they're like little floof babies. And they gave him this like this thing is just fucking creepy oh, looking. God, it's yeah. Oh, it's so it's really really a. a <laughs> It's, why a, does it's the, a completely disingenuous way to market a movie. Why does it's the movie Sonic horrifying. look like a YouTube commenter? It does. <laughs> and what what I hate the most is that the voice, like uh, Ben uh, Ben Schwartz, yeah, he sounds good. That is a good voice for Sonic. Like, but he it sounds, is not a good Sonic for Sonic. He's, no, exactly. He sounds fine. Jim Carrey is Robotnik. I don't know what the fuck kind of direction they're taking with the character, but apart from that final clip where you see he resembles the Robotnik from the game, what are they going to do? Is it like a gradual uh, transformation? Because f- Robotnik uh, in the games, at least canonically, has the thing where he was just trying to help, um, I think his daughter or something, not die. And then that went horribly wrong, and he went crazy and wants to kill Sonic. So they might be the leaning into ice that. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Jesus. Essentially, yes, he's the original Ice King. Uh, but yeah, nuts. like there's a also canon... somebody somebody fucked Eggman and had a daughter with him. Oh well, see that's the like, thing where I don't somebody... know if it's his daughter or like his niece or something. I just remember that there's like uh, a, a girl who is not. Uh... Oh, is that in Sonic Adventure Two? Uh, it's it's mentioned in Sonic Adventure Two. It's mentioned, I believe, briefly in uh, Unleashed. Up. Uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog too. I, I, I think I know. I think that's actually his grandfather's niece. Oh, it's possible. It's, yeah. I, I know it's something that he's like. I just really care about this girl, and I don't want her to die. Serious Sonic lore podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too deep. But fucking honestly horrendous that they think that this is like an acceptable film. To uh, they just they just want the money. They don't. They, do, they a, clearly it's don't offensive. care. It it's is fucking offensive. It sucks because I remember. It, fuck, where's there's that Sonic fan movie that someone made like fucking years ago. Mm, um, mm-hmm. that looked the blue blur. Re- yes, the blue blur. Yes, that one. It looks. It has so like good. the fucking nostalgia critic in it or whatever. Or fucking yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Like and Eggman is like cartoony Eggman, but he's a real man. And yeah, uh, like I don't remember. Man. Do you see Sonic that well? I don't think you do. No, not really. Yeah. They kind of like yeah. They're like here's the shoes. It's all we could afford. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. They sh- you, they show like a render of him, and he's got like kind of a a darker color palette, and like a he looks like fucking Sonic 06 render that yeah transplanted into the like fucking real world or whatever. It's also bad design, but it's so much better than this. And it just a, a lot of it just kind of looks fucking generic. Like their take on Eggman for what seems to be the majority of the movie is Jim Carrey doing his fucking Jim Carrey like, Jim Carrey shtick, like '90s Jim Carrey, yeah, acting like Ace Ventura. Bring it it's, back! It's just or, like the '90s. Remember the dare '90s? I, dare I say the Grinch? Oh yeah, like kind of doing that kind of thing, where he's just he's extremely expressive, he that, overly. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he 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 yeah he overemphasizes like particular sentences like a uh, wrong or doing like shit like yeah. that you know P A R T Y because I got it it's it feels like a mix of the mask and like the Grinch yeah really really maybe probably more like the Grinch because he's like a villain yeah but with the mask because he's like hey, really <laughs> whatever really bad it yeah. looks really really bad it's not a great take on the character especially considering that like recently we have had like really good takes on the character like in the sonic boom cartoon where he's really funny mm-hmm. like that he's a fucking funny character 
and he's funny in some of the like the recent games. Whenever he speaks, he, he has a funny line because he's so fucking over the top, obsessively evil and cartoonish. Yeah, and they've got the cartoonish part down, but I don't fucking get how this is supposed to be Eggman. He could just be like any generic yeah, kind he, of silly movie antagonist. Well, besides the ending scene where or shot where you see the terrible mushroom background. <clears throat> Oh my God. Like, I feel like they lean into it more. I think it's going to be a uh, quote-unquote character progression in the movie. <laughs> character progression. Maybe yeah. there's some kind of narrative reason for it. But either way, like, what differentiates his take on Eggman from, like, John Voigt's character in Baby Geniuses 2? You know, like, <laughs> like what is uh... the difference between it just this character and a typical silly children's movie antagonist? He's there's no depth to this take on Eggman. No, He's there's just no depth to this take on bo- Sonic either. No, 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 I mean, yeah, exactly. Expecting any depth from this production was kind of silly to begin scrap with. Scrap this, really... scrap this, uh, remake Sonic X, but live action. It's such an entirely so you gotta attempt. Do. You know what? That would be better. Even though it Sonic would be X better. like sucks dick, it would be so yeah, much better. I have a stupid soft spot for Sonic X, but. I mean, I used to I used to watch that shit obsessively when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. That's probably if, before I was into video games. I was into Saturday morning fucking cartoons, and of mm-hmm. course, Sonic was like, mm-hmm. yeah. And you grew up <laughs> that, in the early aughts when every Saturday morning cartoon was a video game. That and fucking <laughs> Sonic Underground, which is horrendous. Oh no, we don't talk about that. But I remember watching the shit out of that show. Sonic Underground. That show is so fucking bad. And- Horrible. It's really atrocious. The music is bad, and like Jaleel White doing the voice of Sonic, and then his brother, and then the sister, yeah, is really distracting. Like the, he he almost makes no effort to kind of di- he he's kind of doing like you know when like the fucking game <laughs> grumps do like their their little girl voice like yeah. I don't know like that's kind of what he fucking sounds like he's doing when he's playing the sister yeah it's really bad I know and then the oh god it. That shit was bad, man. Sonic really like. I thought for a while Sega's that just like Sega, the Sega corpse. was really trying to kind of like reinstate the integrity that the series had. And uh, you know, I'm not saying that Sonic was like sacred fucking territory or whatever until like Sega decided to like mess that shit up. But it's clear that there's a difference in quality between this product and like Sonic Mania, which yeah. is something made by the fans for the fucking fans of the series that plays well and is, you know, fun and captures kind of the elements of Sonic that people like. Well, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, like, it's funny because they keep doing this thing where, like, you had, uh, like, you had Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2, right? Uh, yeah. Pretty good games. People, like, generally, uh, depending on the age of the person you're talking to, either love those games either or hate those games. Or, or hate them, yeah, uh, exactly. Pretty but generally, the old Sonic games, like the 2D ones, are like... Are mostly pretty good. Yeah, some everyone them, likes you know, them. Some of them have their flaws, but they're fun. Three is great. Um, Three is great, two is great. One is one is flawed, but good. Yeah, uh, I think Marble Zone is like the worst ever. I it I think sucks. the way that they oh, the way that they boy. fucking the way that they fucking organize the zone order in that first Sonic game is really bad. Yeah, and um, it's clear why they did it, but it's it sucks that yeah. they did. Uh, uh, and then you got Sonic O Six, which pretty mm-hmm. much shot Sonic in the foot for a couple of years. Uh, you had oh yeah a couple of garbage games, and you had Sonic Generations, and you're like, oh okay, that's. Like, Sonic Generations was a good game. I enjoyed that game. Sonic Colors was really good, too. Sonic Colors was also very good. That's Uh, that's an an excellent and underrated game. Sonic Rush on the DS, both of them. Yeah. Fun games. You got, Uh, after that, uh, fuck, what was it? Uh, Sonic Generations. Then you had, like, the Sonic Boom games come out, and those were pretty fucking terrible. Fucking travesties. And then you got Sonic Mania coming out and fucking making Sonic the hottest shit again for, like, a month. Yeah. And then it, right, it really, right on the tail of that, of the Sonic that I grew up with. Exactly, Sonic. I loved the Sonic Advance games growing up, and those games are flawed now. Like in retrospect, when I rem- when I think back on them, I'm like, oh my god, oh, yeah, those no, they're actually games had like atrocious level design. They are rough to go back to, but um, I had fun revisiting them in a way that I I don't have fun revisiting other old older Sonic titles like Unleashed or whatever. Yeah, God, exactly. Unleashed is bad. 
but uh, it's that is an overrated game in my opinion. I think it doesn't get enough hate. The yeah, game fucking sucks. It ass. sucks. It's the worst. I it's hate really, the really bad. Werehog mechanic. Um, it's awful. It's fucking awful. It's so so tedious. But like though no like I don't know fuck I I would. I'd say I'd consider myself a Sonic fan. I like Sonic games. I own Mega Collection and oh, Gems Collection. I will. I have Sonic boxes on right now. I love Sonic. Yeah, Sonic's fucking dope. Like I, I had a Sonic plush that I really liked. I gave it to a friend as a gift. Mm-hmm. But I had a Sonic. I had like a classic Sonic plush that I was a fan of. I owned like the Sonic OVA uh, on DVD, which I also gave to a friend as a gift. Like I, I like Sonic. Mm-hmm. I, I think those games are fun. It's just what I, they do I with really, the IP is God, like it's either they, perfect. They're actively trying to undermine the whatever integrity the IP yeah, has. Yeah, it's it's either really good or it's really bad. Because like Sonic Mania yeah. and Sonic Forces released within like a week or a month or something of each other, like super close. Yeah. And like the and, and Forces like, Force, got fucking shit on. Clearly, Forces kind of has like story elements that pick up from elements of Mania. Like the it's kind of a pseudo sequel almost to mania's narrative Mm -hmm. and that's like baffling to me now mania is mania is a really good game i don't think forces is a trash game by any stance but it suffers from a lot of the same problems that a lot of modern sonic titles have which is like a very flaccid attempt at like a narrative yeah extremely flaccid Sonic's uh, dead. We gotta go uh, save like, him. Yeah, like an overly fucking serious tone that doesn't kind of recognize what kind of game it is. Yeah. You know? uh, and then just like repetitive gameplay, kind of like press A to win gameplay. Yeah. Just which, mash like, the you buttons, know, go s- stomp on the fucking the 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 ladybug creature thingies and fucking yeah. Bugs. Which like. It's Once like, again, say yeah. say what you want about like old or older two D Sonic titles kind of having counterintuitive design elements, like where you go really fast, but the level and parallax scrolling maybe isn't as effective, and it stops the speed and you know the rhythm of the the gameplay dead in its tracks at mm-hmm. times. But fuck, at the very least, there was like a modicum of challenge to some of those games. Yeah, and modern Sonic games, especially the three D games really have a hard time capturing that like there's there's i would never fucking call any modern sonic game difficult with the exception of them having like elements of poor design that are just hard to fucking work around like sonic and the secret rings isn't a hard game it's a badly designed game that is difficult because the design is poor you know yeah like there's it's not thoughtfully designed and meticulously designed it is poorly designed and that is why it is not fun to play oh that's a good cut i'll be right back i gotta pay for my pizza (laughs) yeah I have returned. In the spirit of Sonic the Hedgehog, you have ordered and are about to eat a pizza. Uh, that's chili dogs is Sonic. Pizza is... Uh, Ch- chili dogs. Pizza is uh, Dante from The Devil Maze Cries. Are they going to like make him eat a chili dog? Oh, God. In, like, a really I... detailed... An ASMR. Ugh, you hear like his lips smacking. Oh, God. I'm going to the D-Box. Oh. Mm. Horrible. I don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I just did, don't do it. Don't put it in a movie. Don't do oh. this, I really just sincerely fucking hope that 
<laughs> I don't, I don't they know. do anything but this. <laughs> they, like honestly, they could come out and be like, you know what? We 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 changed our mind. This was a mistake. We're not gonna release this. And I'd be like, good, good. God. Imagine if they were like punking us and they showed like a trailer for like a really nice animated Sonic. Movie oh my after. god! What if this is all lies and you go see the movie and it's yeah. actually like it's into the Spider Verse levels of good. <laughs> What God, if this, I wish. What if they're banking on the hate watch, but then you go see it and it's actually a, an amazing movie? <laughs> oh God, I honestly wish that in a perfect world, yeah, really, where marketing <laughs> campaigns are allowed to lie to you that hard. Yeah, and we're we're like film studios are like not <laughs> cynical got, as fuck and entirely in it for the. You money. got that one guy that's super bummed leaving the theater, like, oh, I wanted my fucking realistic song. Well, it's like. Especially, like, think think about shit like Spider Verse. Like, Spider Verse basically lived and died as a project by how invested the people making it were in letting that project. And boy, do, go. You f- do you feel the amount of love? Oh yeah, like there that that is a movie made by people who love Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I finally saw it. By Sony, the way, and I was like, oh, oh yeah, and you loved oh, it. Oh god, oh. yeah. Every second. Like, why do any other sp- fucking Spider Man movies even exist? Why? So why did it take so long? You could have done this at any point. I know. Like and that's, it's it really like it stands in stark contrast to the previous attempts at Sony to like independently produce a Spider-Man movie that wasn't by Sam Raimi, like the two amazing movies. Yeah, which are bad. It shows just like how if the people involved in making these aren't entirely invested in the way that the fans are that you can't really produce a satisfactory product. Yeah. And it's, I mean, once that just is a sentiment that is echoed in something like Sonic Mania, which is entirely made by fans. For fans. And for <laughs> fans. And is like a really impressive feat of game design. Uh, and it's like a really, it manages to be a really modern game working within the confines and aesthetics of the older 2D Sonic titles. And it's, really really good and fun to play in the way that spider-verse is operating very much upon like the the stuff that people love about spider-man mm-hmm. and telling like a new fun kind of take on that idea <clears throat> and like the whole idea that anybody can be spider-man which is like a really resonant concept which was like the main concept for a while yeah i mean really. it still is it didn't go away but um yeah, no. But it really resonates with audiences, and it's clear that it did. Yeah. And it's but like, hey, you is, could be it, the Spider-Man in your own timeline. And the best part about that, really, is that it's it's a completely genuine attempt, you know? it's There's not an inkling of cynicism apparent. It's so earnest. Mm-hmm. And you really cannot fucking even imagine saying that about this movie. It's clear it's one of the most cynical fucking ways by which you could go about making an adaptation of a video game. Yeah. And once again, it stands in stark contrast to the Detective Pikachu movie, which is clearly a labor of love in many ways, in that it lovingly adapts the feeling and vibe that you get from the world of those games into, uh, you know, a film narrative. And, like, you know, the city is is very impressive looking. Rhyme City looks great. Yeah. The humans interacting with the Pokemon looks really fucking great. Yeah, and they're doing magic with that lighting, too, because that's really what oh helps. Oh, my God. The, like, it's, uh, it's honestly a, an it's... extremely pretty movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then Sonic is... The fucking it does that fucking render of Sonic doesn't even fucking cast a shadow. Oh, does it not? No. Oh no. It's so bad. And you you cannot you can't feasibly make like I mean the almost, shadow would I, have been too expensive. I almost <laughs> would I would almost call something like Detective Pikachu, you know, a little transparent in its attempt to hide the way that the CGI looks uh, overall through interesting lighting techniques. Uh, mm-hmm. If it wasn't for the fact that they also managed to make the movie a fucking noir detective story, yeah, and that I mean, suitably fits into the aesthetics of that genre, whereas this is just, from the looks of it, a fucking pretty bog standard children's film, yeah, and a bad one, a really bad one. That's, Sonic that's is for upsetting. the children. 
And like, I mean, anyway, after what, like 30 minutes of talking about this, yeah. we're going to go see it. <laughs> <laughs> D-Box. With uh, yeah, we're de this shit. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Fucking for sure. You know, I, I'm going to go in and just say, give me fucking like a beer and some fucking like a burger or whatever and sit me down and let me watch this terrible film. But, oh, my God. Like, it really is kind of atrocious, is, atrocious, isn't it, that they they would make such a cynical film. Oh, my God. Um, so, breaking news oh, that I, okay. I, I just want to, sorry, but this <laughs> is really great. Uh, I don't know if you caught the whole Sonic Bo- uh, Sonic Fox uh, situation where he was just... Yeah, oh, yes, I did. Uh, he was shitting on turfs. S- Sonic Fox is a... Sonic Fox? Sonic Fox fucks. He is a real ally. I love that man. Yeah. Um, and he was like, don't associate me with this film. Yeah. Which uh, is really funny. One thing that came out of it today, apparently, is um, the UK Parliament holding up a picture of Lily from Zombieland Saga, holding up a gun and saying, shut the fuck up, turf. Uh, so now you just got a picture of someone in the UK Parliament holding up a a meme. Big meme. What? Yeah, I'll send you the picture right now because God, it's... I fucking I really I hate the United Kingdom so much. Br- British people, I'm sorry, individually y'all are cool, but as a fucking nation, you are some of the most invalid people on the goddamn planet. Holy shit, your parliament is hell. There you go. God damn. It is funny as fuck. <laughs> Just... Wow. That's a zombie land saga right there. Yeah, shut up, Tur. Fuck. Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up turf. Well, leave fucking trans people alone. Yeah. You goddamn maniacs. Just leave them the fuck alone. It's really ridiculous. It but is. anyway, you fuck. Fuck the Sonic movie. I want to see that shit, but fuck it. <laughs> Anime belongs to the gays. Anime does belong to the gays. It does. Ugh, it's just like, fuck. Uh, let's go see the Sonic Fox movie. Oh, fuck. Damn it! Let's go see the Sonic movie with Sonic Fox, is what I meant to say, but I ruined the joke. Ugh. Just. What a. What a bad shit. It's just. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. Like, fucking. I, I, like, just their, their pathetic attempts to make this shit, like. Call back to the games with the fucking special, like, warp rings. And I don't you understand know, the practice you could of have, that. You could have set this entire fucking movie on, like, Mobius. It would have been so much better. God. Anyway. God, he looks fucking awful. We're he mad, so and I'm going to give them my money anyway, so. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I, I feel so stupid for even saying that, but I know it's inevitable. I'm, I'm going camping. To watch I'm movie. camping in line day one for sure. Like I don't, I don't even like watching bad video game movies, but this really does look like it's on a whole other level of fucking trash. Just like in in terms of how they're adapting the source material, it's fascinatingly bad. Yeah, and only it's fascinatingly bad, pretty much only to people like us. <laughs> and I wouldn't blame anybody for not wanting to watch this shit. Yeah, it's so bad. Don't worry but, about it. We'll, if if we'll watch uh, it for you and we'll talk about it on the podcast. For sure. Anyway, that was a <laughs> that was a serious Sonic lore cast. Yeah, we actually Woo! we almost did get super serious when talking about Eggman's origins. I yeah, mean, I've I've outed myself as a deep lore Sonic fan. I know, so have I. Oh, I... oh well, <laughs> I I know an embarrassing amount about Sonic. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I it's like I was never part of the online Sonic community or anything. I just I played enough Sonic games as a kid because I liked Sonic. That I became, you know, through both cultural osmosis, trips to, like, the Sonic wiki in grade fucking seven or whatever. A Sonic like, PD. just playing the games, what, you oh know, some of that shit was. We're walking in Sonicpedias. In Psych- if you're, in like... Son- Sonicopedia? It's meh. Nah. I mean, if you're, like, a <laughs> you're like a media completionist like I am, you just... Yeah. You, you absorb whatever <laughs> information... Spoilers be damned. Stupid. Like, I was the fucking person who, like, you know, got into a new book series lately, really, really fucking late in the game, but now that I'm into it, I have, like, a completionist level of knowledge on all of the fucking lore, because that is how I fucking am with media. 
I'm really insatiable when it comes to shit like that. I'm just like, okay, now I need to know everything about it. So it's I like, read all 39 okay. volumes of Berserk in a week. Yeah, like, like, there we go. <laughs> I know all of that shit. Like, it's really fucking crazy, but that's kind of how my stupid monkey brain works. Yeah. So, I get yeah, it. yeah, Sonic is the same way. <laughs> fucking Sonic. Oh, God. But anyway, fuck Sonic. Fuck I this movie. I love him. Can't wait to see it. I, I can't wait to spend, <laughs> you know, fucking $12 on that ticket. Boy, do you think... Oh, I, uh, what if it makes Endgame numbers? Not yeah, not in terms it. of sales, because it won't, obviously, it, but I mean, it, like, what if it's not. long? What if it's long? <laughs> it will not. I was talking more about length. Mm, it's not three hours long. <laughs> I hope I hope not. <laughs> it's 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 a it's like three hours long, but two of those hours are just Sonic's feet. Oh god. Stepping on mashed potatoes and bread. No! Yeah, no, there no. it is. I didn't even want to think further on that joke. The second it left my mouth I regret it. <laughs> oh uh, god. But yeah, this I shit looks fucking horrible. He's gotta comb the dry mashed potatoes out of his oh! hair. <laughs> out of his hairy feet. <laughs> oh, ah! no, Why? No. Did I do that? Oh, God, no. No, like, I did that because feet, I had the mental the image. Feet are the, mo- the feet are the most realistically human <laughs> of his body. Just a pair of, like, human <laughs> feet. Yeah. Oh, uh, God, please, please don't actually do that. With, like, ginger hair on the feet for some reason. But literally with, like, the, on, the level upon which the people making this movie are operating, I do not fucking put it past them to do that. I really fucking hope they don't show like Sonic's feet. In the movie. I don't want. I don't want. To, I, don't want to I will walk out of the fucking theater and demand a refund. I don't want to fucking watch that. Please go. No. <laughs> no. My big That's fear. Such a horrific image. My big fear is that we will not only see Sonic in terrible realistic proportions and whatever you want to call it CG. Um, Christ. But what if they bring Knuckles in, or, like, Tails, or Amy, or God forbid Rouge? Oh, fuck me, no. Rouge is gonna get fucking... Ugh, Don't. It'll be bad. God, any of those other... I mean, it's like the joke meme, right? With the joke meme. The meme with the... <laughs> it's the joke meme! <laughs> that was it, redundant. The meme that I fucking saw where it was, like, and Tails, and it's the fucking, like, taxidermy <laughs> The taxidermy box. box that looks, like, yeah, terrible. But that's honestly what it would fucking look like. Yeah. Oh god. Ugh. I think my my brain is is become fucking mush thinking about this movie. Uh so maybe we'll just leave it here. Yeah. But anyway, Sonic <laughs> Sega. Oh, put that at the be- put that at the beginning of the Sega. Yeah, do it. Find that I'll I'll find you an MP3 rip. <laughs> I will. All right. Well, anyway, fuck this shit. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, fuck this garbage. Mm. Uh, we'll see you on the next After... bonus round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this a bonus round? No. I guess so. <laughs> I'm not put. I, I can't no, yeah, call don't. this a bonus round. Just, just, I don't know. Uh, y- we'll, you know call, what you should we'll do. call this a nothing. After, uh, I don't know if you're putting the a trailer over or not, but uh, either way, uh, you should make... Find like a just a fucking shitty picture of Sonic or something, and have it slowly zoom in. Oh god! The whole time. <laughs> He's steaming shoes. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, the picture of him being pregnant with Shrek. Oh, yeah. God. That's that's the that's the level of maturity this fucking film crew is operating on. Mm-hmm. They, they know what they're fucking doing, and it's. They know that they made some fucking, like, Pika Pow shit. Like, they're not oh, God. completely unaware of that. No. Oh, it's turtle anyway. time. Fuck Sonic, I hate this. Me too.